went to this auction and there were these plates and I thought well that might look good in my breakfast room kitchen area you know as wall decoration so I decided well you know I'll bid on them and if they don't go too high maybe I'll get them well I think the bidding started at ten dollars and nobody else bid so I just kept bidding ten dollars and I got them all for ten dollars each ten dollars each yeah and you know what they are there's supposedly railroad China you're right on the money these are actually all three railroad plates as you might imagine they're made for some bumping around one well, they're on a train <laughs> so you would imagine they could take a pretty rough ride this one the Milwaukee Traveler is made by Syracuse China Company you'd probably be looking a sale price at auction of around seventy five dollars to hundred dollars the, the one at the end here this is made by Buffalo Pottery this is New York and New Hampshire Oh, and this has, okay. you know, you've got your nice little choo-choo train going through yeah. here. Really nice, exactly what you would expect to see. Railroad wear with trains on it. So, nice depiction there. A hundred dollars at auction. Okay. The one I want to I want to focus on is this one, which is the Missouri Pacific plate. Now, this one's made by Havlin Limoges, and Havlin was considered probably the most prominent, one of the best porcelain manufacturers in France around the turn of the 20th century. And right there you have the Missouri Pacific monogram. So easy to spot, great Art Nouveau border called the Jefferson pattern. Oh, and it's Jefferson. a pretty rare pattern. This particular plate, given its rarity, at auction these days, would probably sell between $700 and $800. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy moly. Me, imagine? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Seven to $800? That's too much. I know. <laughs> It is the, probably the prettiest of all the plates I have, I think. That's the prettiest, but that's my favorite. <laughs> that's, that's the cheapest one. <laughs>